This is on the left, this is an example of a table, and on the right, this is an example of a pictograph. And we'll be walking through the difference between the two of them. Our objective is to interpret data by examining tables and pictographs. At the end of this lesson, you will be constructing a pictograph and you will also be answering some questions. So when we look at this um, table, it says the table below shows solar panel installations by state during the last fiscal year. How many solar panels were installed in Alabama in Q3? So the first thing that you would do is really look at the information. You would start off like I did, reading the information about what is this table about. Down below in the, the bold print, it says, how many solar panels were installed in Alabama in Q3? Well, these are different cells, as you know, notice. There's cell Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Now they also have the states, and if you look, they have Alabama, Michigan, New York, and Wyoming. We're going to go back and they're asking for how many solar panels were installed in Alabama in Q3. I go to Alabama. This is Q1. There were 34. Q2, there was 40. There were 40. And Q3, there were 37. So the answer to that question would be 37. Over on the right, it just totals all of the Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4 together and gives the total for it. The table below shows the panel, um, solar panel installations by state during the last fiscal year. So that means the last year of business. How many total solar panels were installed last year in New York? I want you to look at the information and I want you to figure out they're asking for the total solar panels that were installed in New York. I'm going to pause for a minute so you can think about it. Okay, so as you notice, there's Alabama, Michigan, New York, and Wyoming. They're asking for New York, so we're just going to zero in on here. They're not asking for Q1 or Q2 or Q3 or Q4, but they're asking for the total. So I would go over here, and my answer that I would write down would be 132 solar panels. Now, this next one, the table below shows solar panel installation by state during the last fiscal year, except one entry is missing. Actually, I'm seeing several entries that are missing. So now let's read. It says, what number should go in the empty cell? What is the total for Alabama and Michigan? So the first thing you want to figure out is, you look at all this. These are all filled in. Michigan has all the numbers here. New York has all the numbers all the way across. Ooh. Wyoming. We have Q1, Q2, Q3 is missing, Q4 gives information, and then we have a total. So you might say to yourself, how would I go about figuring this out? Well, I'm going to let you think for a minute, and then I'll explain what you should do. What I would do, and what you need to do, is for Wyoming to figure out that empty cell here, you are going to add Q1 together, Q2, and Q4, get the sum, which is the total, and subtract it from, from this number, and that will give you the empty cell number. Write that in your notebook, because tomorrow we will be checking on that. Then. They're also asking several other questions. They're asking Alabama the total. So it's obvious if they're asking for the total that it's the sum. So you're going to add all of these together. 
Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 plus Q4, and that will give the total. And for Michigan, you're also going to write down the total. So you're going to have three answers on this. What's missing for Wyoming? The total for Alabama and the total for Michigan. Oh my goodness, here's another one. The, this table below shows the number of chickens sold by four friends from January to March, except one entry is missing. What number should go in the empty cell? So in your notebook, you're going to write down Michael and then the missing number for March. And I'm going to go on, but if you need to pause it, you just pause it to answer the question. Now let's take a look at pictographs. A pictograph is a pictorial representation of statistics on a chart, graph, or a computer screen. And personally, I love looking at pictographs. Let's use the pictograph to answer some questions. Well, the first thing you, know, you need to look at is the title of the graph. And the title of this graph is Flower Badges Earned by Each Student. So we have the people that earn badges. And then the next thing that you really want to look at is the key. And down here, it says one picture of a flower equals five flower badges. So in your notebook, you are going to write down how many flower badges does Carol have, remembering that one flower equals five flower badges. And you, then you're going to write down Karen. How many flower badges did she earn? And Cindy, and then Jenny. Once again, if you need to pause it, you pause it, and I'm going to move along. Here's another pictograph, and I'm not going to say a whole lot about this one. I want you to look at it. Here's the title, here's the key, and here are the people. There are questions on the next page that you're going to refer back to this one to answer. And remember, put it in your notebook. So you're going to have quite a few things in your notebook. I'm keeping you busy tonight. Here are the questions. And the next one, the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to create a pictograph of your own and put it in your notebook. Remember, it must have the following. It must have a title, a key showing your, your picture and what that number represents, information. So if it's, um, if you need to have names and then the pictures by it or whatever you want us to look at and then questions that you want someone else to answer. Have the answers to your graph on a different page so we can possibly use your graph in class. Be neat, be creative, and have fun. And with that being said, have a good night and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!